this is Will's Front, brought to you by theunshackled.net. I just want to share with you a bit of my story and maybe a little bit of some of the women that I've met and some of my friends. And um, for me, about 15 years ago, I was in um, a very hard time in my life and I was ended up pregnant. And um, I had it in my head, even though I'd had two children, that this baby was so small that it was just tissues and cells and no matter how hard I tried, I felt I couldn't go ahead with this. And my now husband, who was my boyfriend at the time, you know, he said, oh, he was supporting me, but he didn't have any, you know, words of encouragement or anything that he spoke into my life. And I didn't feel that I had anyone else to talk to. And I rang the Royal Women's Hospital and they were so happy to, you know, lock me in for an abortion, but I felt I couldn't go there um, because they didn't have any female abortionists on at that time. So I went to um, the abortion centre right near Melbourne University. What a place to place an abortion centre. What a terrible place where so many university students are. And when I went to that place, they didn't tell me, they heard my story, but they didn't tell me anything else, they didn't give me any information, any counselling, any other options and um, so my lies that I was believing and the thought that I couldn't go ahead with this pregnancy, no one helped to make me see that I was, I could, I could manage this and so what happened to me is they booked me in for another date and you know I have to say I'm so sad that people like you were not there each time that I went there and um, because I think that if I had have seen truth, if someone just had have told me truth, I would have stopped what I was doing because it was only a moment of difficulty. It wasn't something that would last forever. So in that moment, no one met me. And um, I remember going in that day and I remember um, having a quick scan and, you know, because of where I was at in my life at that time, I didn't... I couldn't understand her words. She said, you don't have to look if you don't want to. And I thought, why? Why don't I look? What does she want me to see? And, you know, what is seen that I had a baby there. And I went into that operating room and um, I just asked him to quickly put me to sleep. And I remember waking up and I was in a room with all these other girls and I was crying. See, there's somewhere in a mother's heart that knows truth. There's somewhere in your soul that knows truth. And it's like Rachel's tears in the Bible. She refuses to be comforted because her children are no more. And it continues on in this nation that children are being slaughtered and mothers are crying and don't understand why. And I've met them all the time. My friend who was pregnant the same time that I had my first baby and she got roped into having an abortion and she never got over it. And I met other women as well. And I recently sat down with a lady bit younger than me in a store and I knelt next to her she was packing the shelves and I was telling her about the movie Unplanned and if you haven't seen Unplanned which is Abby Johnson's story I say go see it no matter what you think go and see Unplanned and hear Abby Johnson's story Abby Johnson oversaw 22,000 plus abortions and had two herself and then she saw an abortion of a baby that was 13 weeks old and when the instrument went in she saw the baby pull back because the first time she saw an ultrasound guided abortion that showed what was happening in that womb and no more were the silent screams of that child not heard it was seen and the baby pulled back and fled and then was suctioned away into a tube and murdered and Abby Johnson walked out of Planned Parenthood and became the biggest activist for pro-life. And that is why. And that is one of the reasons why, through all the prayers, that Planned Parenthood abortion throughout the world, I decree, will come down. Inch 
Jesus' name, I decree the end of it. In Jesus' name. God's word said you shall decree a thing and it shall be established for you. And I want to say one more thing. I sat after the movie um, at a McDonald's Center, out, you know, uh, McDonald's cafe outside with a woman who was 20 years old. She was having trauma. She was having nightmares from the two abortions she'd had, the last one. She had words spoken to her by family members and she was forced back into the centre. And she never got over it. The nightmares, the trauma, the everyday thinking about her babies. And you know, we prayed together and that woman received Jesus Christ and we prayed for healing and deliverance in Jesus' name. I spoke to her a couple days later and she is completely set free. And she no longer has nightmares. So I want to say there is healing for every single woman, every single man, every single short siblings that are affected by abortion. There is healing from the trauma. And if you're working in the industry, there's healing, there is forgiveness. And I must say, I heard that it was seen as an achievement to the medical profession and to feminists that abortion was happening. I must say, when I saw that, I felt so let down. Feminists were meant to stand for women, but instead you are hurting us and killing our children. And doctors are meant to stand for life. You're meant to help us and try to heal us and speak hope and find a way through any situation. That's what you're there for, to find the way through. But you speak death. You speak death over babies just because they're unwell. You speak death just because they have a cleft lip or palate. My oldest child has a cleft lip and palate and she is beautiful and God has done many things for her. So God bless everyone. Keep coming. I know this is my first march but I'll keep coming back and I'll keep being a voice for the unborn and for the women who are heartbroken and I'll say we will see have we will have victory in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you Heidi. That was a truly moving testimony. And I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen, you will agree with me when I say women deserve better than abortion. This is Will's Front, brought to you by theunshackled.net.